Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is Tennessee State University and the Maytown Center a project. Uh, and our guest is uh, Dr. David Paget from Tennessee State University, who will give us some additional information in reference to the Maytown uh, Center project. But first of all, Dr. Paget, let's uh, see if we might have you give us some information about uh, Dr. David Paget. Uh, some information about your background, your education, and some of the things that were important in terms of uh, leading you to uh, Tennessee State University. And I also might add, uh, Dr. Padgett, that uh, our, our audience is probably familiar with you because you've been with us on a number of occasions. Uh, you gave us excellent information dealing with the uh, chocolate cities, I think we called it at yeah. the time, uh, urban America and some of the problems. And, and so that's why we wanted you back to deal with this problem specifically uh, at uh, Tennessee State University with the a Maytown Center a project. And of course, uh, if you'll give us some information about your background, education, then we'll get started in reference to that. Yes, uh, yes I'm, I've been at Tennessee State University for 10 years. I'm an associate professor of geography. Uh, my areas of specialization are environmental studies, of urban geography, of course, and geographic information systems, uh, all three of which I'm using in my capacity as the uh, director of the Maytown Center Project. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been the director of the Geographic Information Sciences mm -hmm. Lab at Tennessee State University since mm -hmm. 2000. And so we've worked on a number of projects mm -hmm. in and around Nashville and in other parts of the country uh, looking at urban problems, urban issues, especially those pertaining mm -hmm. to the environment and land use change. And so this project again um, which feeds off of my background, mm -hmm. not only in earth sciences, uh, I actually graduated from undergrad from Western Kentucky University with a degree in uh, geology and geography. And also, I w in my graduate background is in geography and geology and environmental studies mm -hmm. at the University of Florida. And so between my undergraduate and graduate years, mm -hmm. uh, I worked as a physical scientist mm -hmm. and geologist for the mm -hmm. U.S. Mm -hmm. Bureau of Land Management uh, in Nevada and California. And I've also conducted research mm -hmm. on uh, applications of geographic information systems mm -hmm. at hazardous waste sites. Uh, and I did those, that study, those mm -hmm. studies at Oak Ridge National mm -hmm. Lab about almost 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And so your background uh, allows you in a real sense to deal uh, specifically with uh, what we're dealing with here now, the uh, so-called Maytown Center Project. Why don't you give us some information in reference to uh, uh, your position as a uh, project director for this uh, particular project. Exactly what does that mean? Well, we were given a $50,000 grant of, by the developers to look into the impacts of this project upon neighboring communities. Uh, and of course, with TSU being a historically black college and university, uh, we're looking at the environmental perceptions of African Americans specifically uh, with regard to this project. Uh, whether they happen to be residents, mm -hmm. whether they happen to be council people, whether they happen to be on the planning commission, mm -hmm. uh, because there's a long history of environmental perception and environmental justice mm -hmm. issues where African Americans have had interesting reactions to environmentally oriented projects mm -hmm. such as the Maytown Center. Mm -hmm. And so now what you're trying to do is to uh, sort of gauge uh, what, how, how that develops and uh, to, to provide in a real sense information I would imagine in reference to that. Yeah, so what we're doing with this information is we want to develop a model for mm -hmm. HBCU private entity partnerships for mm -hmm. urban and economic development. Mm -hmm. And so really the driving force behind any of these projects is the community, is the public, and especially the alumni, whoever happens to be affected. And we're trying to see how our institution, that is TSU, can work with a private entity, uh, in this case the May family and their partners, in developing our communities, in bringing new buildings, uh, new homes, grocery stores, whatever it is our communities need. Uh, and in many urban settings, and in many urban communities that have HBCUs, mm -hmm. uh, we know that many times, many times there's blight, there's uh, vacant buildings, mm -hmm. and underutilization of land. Mm -hmm. And so this is something that you hope to be able to apply uh, nationally in terms of historically black institutions of higher education. Is that is that what we're saying here? Yes, yeah, and a special it's a special model. Um, mm -hmm. We know that Vanderbilt is mm -hmm. very much involved in urban development, but they have millions and millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, they invested 99 million dollars into the 100 Oaks 
mall. Mm -hmm. We don't have $99 million. Mm -hmm. So we have to develop strategies where we leverage uh, mm -hmm. human power mm -hmm. and influence in order to make change. Mm -hmm. Oh, very good. And of course, Dr. Padgett, what we'll do, we'll take our first commercial break and then we'll uh, come back and we'll allow you to uh, develop this idea of the uh, project itself. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. <laughs> 